are the relationships around you encouraging you to be in a relationship or not? What's your thoughts? People don't even be in relationships. They be in long ass and things. <laughs> I'm desperate. Nobody date to date. I be feeling mad happy when I see like the old people outside and like they be holding hands or like I be seeing them doing like young people stuff. Where are you that from? makes me. I'm Where from are Brooklyn. You, you from Brooklyn? Yeah. That's crazy. That makes me like <laughs> believe in love or whatever. But the relationship nowadays with today people, I don't know. It be ghetto love stories, <laughs> trauma, <laughs> depression, and just mad other stuff. So that, that, that alone is making me like, you know, I'm good on relationships. Today's relationships is disrespectful. It's okay. Being toxic to each other, making each other cry is eternal. It gets it. Females like to talk to other people and all this other stuff. You ever, you ever realize how nobody wants you when you're single and then the minute you get in a relationship, people just start coming or the minute they see the person you're dating, it's just mad extra stuff. Like, yeah, today's relationships, you can't be in a relationship. So that's that's making you be like, you know what? I'm good on relationships right now. Yeah, and then when you try and you go on little dates and stuff, now today the girls act like guys. They be young men, and then the guys act like girls. They be sassy and everything. <laughs> you <laughs> can't even have buddy. a date. People be delusional. Common sense don't make common, common sense, sense no more. Morals is out the window. It got replaced with mind my, my business or get that money, sis. Nobody. She nobody said they be young men. <laughs> I'm funny. serious. I've been hanging around girls and. They be on the block, they be rolling up, and when I say they roll it up, they smoke all day. They voice be mad deep, and it be the pretty girls. Mm-hmm. Pretty Black girls. They start talking too, about gang banging, mm-hmm. all the other stuff. Then you get around guys, they want flowers. They want their tummy rolls. Yo, I don't believe that. Y'all gonna stop with this flowers, shit, bro. Nigga, nah. Put a one in the wow. chat if you were a guy. You literally yesterday. Literally yesterday. Literally yesterday. Yo, welcome back to another episode of Daily Wrap Up Crew. Yeah. No book of I go by the name of Eli. As always, follow me on IG, the real Y Eli, man. Shoot me a DM. Um, I check all my DMs, I promise you. Like, I ain't got that many. So, you know what I mean? I'm going to see them. <laughs> Last but not least, well, next up, we got Ju. I mean, damn. damn. Kids, I'm all fucked up. Like, nah, you he, he might have taken his job. Man, if I be docking his pay. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, yes, indeed. Damn it. You hear now? I can't say my my intro. I've been saying um, still in see. my balls. Man. Daily wrap up, <laughs> the crew I stay with, like my ankle. I'm just ain't nothing to play with. You heard? Shout out to Drake. You know what I mean? That's Drake's ball. Oh, Drake said that. Yeah. Okay. Still, still in so, so you still in C? I knew it. Like I knew oh, man, it. Like, you know what I mean, I'm I'm paying homage. You know what I mean? Y'all know nothing about paying homage, and my ankle really hurts. So you know what I mean? All right, right, mm-hmm. man. Last but not least, man. This this <laughs> this person, man, been MIA. Yep. He only he only been on one episode so far. That was the Atlanta episode, and yep. that was like a special episode. So, man, who, who came back from like a, a great return, man? Like, I don't know, man. KD. KD. That's this is the first person that come from the month. He got hurt and didn't come back, though, did he? No, but yeah, anyway, he, what yeah. it do, what it do. It's your boy, Ju, mm-hmm. and no longer need a countdown. The one is here. You guys was great as a duo, but we even better as a trio. You know what I'm no, saying? Right. See, I thought you were gonna say I, I care, but then I'm like, that don't even make sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? saying? Nah. Like, I just, I still count it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I mean, it was, it was still a little rusty. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, first, yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah. gotta give him a pass. I, I meant to say <laughs> trilogy, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Trilogy would have yeah. been that. Yeah, that yeah, niggas, you know, looking at me for guidance and shit. Come on, we show. We was waiting to see like what are you gonna finish it with? Like you know what I'm saying? Like, anyway, man, we got some special guests in the building. Ladies, let them know where they can follow you at. Hi, y'all. It's your girl, Sammy Mulan, Big Mulan. And y'all can follow me on IG at Sammy underscore Mulan underscore. Mm-hmm. Hello, my name is Tiffany. You guys can follow me at Golden Tiff double N. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> Listen, before we get into this episode, make sure I hit that like button. Subscribe if y'all not already subscribed. Indeed. Join the membership. Mm-hmm. And cop the merch, man. Daily Rob Crew. We merched out today, man. Yo, listen, make sure y'all cop the merch, man. If y'all cop the merch, take a picture, tag us so mm-hmm. we can repost it and share it out to everybody else, man. Um, before I get into this first topic, um, I just want to show some appreciation real quick, man. I, I'm loving this 
this baggy clothes aesthetic that women are wearing nowadays. Mm-hmm. Like it's just something about that aesthetic. It's just mysterious. You know what I mean? It's sexy at the same time. It doesn't require them to show off their body and then you know what I mean? It's just I don't know. I'm really Because I'm really it's more sexy it. when it's mystery. It, it, it's just more yeah. it, there's more mystery there. It's not like the first thing I when I see you, I don't automatically just assume you as being a sexual person. Like you know what I mean? You still sexy. It's mysterious. Yeah, like time. you know what I mean? Sex so, appeal. Cause it allows you to stare at her face. Mm. Not too much wonder or yeah, yeah, true, true. That that you is see, that's a good point. Part. That is a good point. You know what I mean, well, I am a what, what's your thoughts on this this whole baggy clothes aesthetic that's going on? I don't like it. You don't like it? No. Mm. Yeah, he was thinking like, yeah, yeah I, I was, was like, like, talking about like because like, it's it's misleading, man. <laughs> it's misleading. I was I was used to I was used to knowing, and now it's like. You, How's you, it misleading? Because he was he was used pants. to women being butt ass naked, like you know what I'm saying. Now I, was, go, I got used I got used to I, I got used to knowing like what I'm working with. You know what I mean? Now it's like, hmm, is it what I'm working with? What you saying? Like, you got tricked? Yeah, like. <laughs> but that's why you got to use your imagination. Like you know what I mean? Your like, imagination is not 100 accurate. But that's you know why mean? when you like somebody, when you're attracted to to somebody, it shouldn't be about their body. Yeah, this, That's this why is a guy who's a very visual. He's a very visual in. creature. Like, you know what I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but physical attraction is, is what gets you there in the first yeah, place. Yeah, but you know what I mean? not so. by body. That's crazy. That's part of physical attraction. That's crazy. Is it not? That's crazy. When people be like physical attraction, like so, meaning so when, the most meaning when people say that's by face. If somebody's not ugly or whatever, maybe for women, then that's you don't what like that them. If you got, if you go and you pick who you want to be with based by bodies, you're setting yourself up each time. Women are basing that shit off a of height. A nigga could be five ten. He ain't six foot. I mean, that's worse than. <laughs> that's not the same thing. Is that not the same thing? I mean, both is childish. But that's besides yeah. the point. If you date by a body, that's crazy. So, you, so men are picking from. So, so, like so you don't care. You don't care what point. what the person looks like that's coming up to you. Talking. Face wise, that's still physical. Face wise, it's not your body. Face wise, though, as long as you're not like questionably ugly to where I personally question myself or like have. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Life. You don't got to be the best looking. What can you tell by somebody's face that that makes it better than me judging somebody's body? I mean, you could tell if they take care of themselves based on their skin, their hair, Mm. and all that other stuff. Not only that, not for nothing. Mm. When you meet somebody, it could be somebody fine as fuck. Mm -hmm. You meet them, Mm -hmm. they add it to garbage. That Mm -hmm. physically, for you, it will physically make their appearance change. Can can, can I ask you something, though? Because we going to bring up the face card, right? Go ahead. But we can't front. Like, man, we walk around with our natural faces every day. You know, we ain't out here beating our face. That's, That's what y'all not call true. it. Beat. Guys be wearing a little one, no, two no, 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 no. Guys be wearing wigs now. Guys be getting percent of women are walking on with their All face that. beat. They just right? do it naturally it. so people can't tell. So how could I know if you're really beautiful? You get what I'm saying? Like you see, you actually things. spend time with them. That's how you could tell. Oh, the more time you spend with them, I gotta. Elements, but I gotta do that. You're not gonna wear makeup every day. You're not gonna see them. Y'all date. Y'all be going based off y'all hormones. Yeah. If you, you really still, to actually get to like somebody, it's all physical. At the end not, of the day, it's not all physical. You saying appearance. that you picking somebody off their face, then you get I to know them. I didn't say I'm picking them off their face. You asked me a question. You asked me so, would I date somebody if they was unattractive. You asked a question. I never said I pick people based off how they look. You say you don't judge them on their body. You judge them by their face. That's not what you said. I said if you judge people by their body, you're crazy. That's what so I how, said. Because you said appearance-wise. When people say appearance, mm-hmm. it's mostly thinking of a face, not a body. No. Nah, it's, it's the whole appearance. Okay. Whatever you say. I do think ah. it's the whole thing you see. Yeah. So you see yeah. face and you see body. And I do think that you can judge if somebody takes care of themselves based off of their body. You could probably judge that more off their body so than their face. So if someone has a flat ass, you could tell that they don't take care of themselves. But like, I think we're talking like, okay, a flat ass is different. But maybe because if she wanted a fat ass, she could just get in the gym. Like, or like, if you see like, if I see a bigger man, like, there's nothing wrong with a bigger man. But you can tell somebody like works out versus they don't. So I think physical attraction is just like what the eye captures, and that is like face and body. Same shit. But I think the baggy clothes, mm-hmm. I love it because it's for comfort. It's not really for the male gaze. 
Okay, I mean, yeah. I, I, ain't, I ain't going to strike against it. I'm just saying. That's, that's not <laughs> no, my no, preference. I have a preference. Yeah. To say. preference. Yeah. yeah, everybody got their, pre- yeah. like you said, their they preference. Yeah. I just, like I said, I went out, I was seeing a woman today and she had like this baggy aesthetic and it just forced me to actually look at her face instead of just looking at Dan. She got a fat ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then I look at the face. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like now I'm looking at the face first and now I'm using my imagination to figure out the rest. And that makes me, you know, much more intrigued. Like, you know what I mean? That's what we say we've been missing. Men been missing that, oh, that mysterious, everybody been butt ass nigga with I lingerie agree. and fucking That's how used to be Air Maxes. Like, 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 mm-hmm. Listen, let me let me get to this first topic, right? Um, <laughs> can a person be a great parent but a bad spouse? Like, what was y'all thought yeah. on that? You think sure. so? Explain. Yeah. Parenting got nothing to do with you as a relationship person. So you could take care of your child. You can love your child. You can bond with your child. That necessarily doesn't change the fact that when it comes to intimacy and loyalty and cheating and X, Y, and Z, you can not be that and still mm. take care of your kids. It has nothing to do about your relationship. It's two different responsibilities, two different duties. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, right. okay. What, what's, what's your thoughts? I think for I agree. Like someone can be a disloyal partner, um, like or an absent partner, and still be a good parent per se. But like maybe in their intimate relationship with their spouse or whatever it is, baby moms are. Mm-hmm. Um, they might not show up for that person, but doesn't mean that they can't show up for the child. I think that it gets into bad parenting. Like if now you're doing. For example, like if you're maybe um, laying your hands on the woman and you're doing that in front of the child, then that becomes into that steps into like bad parenting territory because you're exposing your child to like this kind of trauma and things. So, yeah. Mm. What was your thoughts on this? Oh. Um, I think, yeah, I don't think there's no correlation because I think um a love for a spouse or whatever and a love for a child is two different loves you know what I mean like for the most part your your child get, gets like almost unconditional love I don't believe that there's really unconditional love for a partner in these times you know what I mean so it, I don't think there's any correlation and it could go vice versa you could be a great spouse and be a bad parent you know what I mean like you could show up for your, your, your wife or whatever but you're not there for your child so I don't think there's any correlation when it comes to parenting and being a good spouse. You got to separate the two and focus on each task. Um, I agree with all y'all. I also want to add that we don't really pay attention to the fact that a lot of us or a lot of people that's in these relationships that has children mm-hmm. don't want to be with their partners. Mm-hmm. They're together because they got a kid. Mm-hmm. They're trying to they trying to build a relationship for the, the children yeah. and they really might not have love for each other. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. you're, you're sacrificing yourself in, in a sense to, you know, for a bigger, greater picture. Society always tell you to, you know, raise your family as as one. So, you know, and I don't think sometimes people communicate how much they don't want to be with the other person when they should just move on. Because it might be it might be better for the kids for you to be separated or, 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 you know what I mean? Just it's different. But, um, I think that people need to take out the time to explore and express themselves because it's still going to affect the kids regardless if you don't want to be there. And I also feel like the problem why it's so bad now is because nowadays people don't date to date. People date for image. People date for income. People date for lust and basically self like, Self happiness. They don't really take time to actually build the connection, learn the person. People be knowing more about how what color a girl panties is before they know her favorite color, before they know her name. Vice versa with girls, because they be dating off based on the fact of getting tricked on and wanting to have a perfect image of a man. They don't really take time to actually get to know each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think um I know this topic came about um because well at least for me I know uh, Kim and I had the same topic but there was a like an artist I don't know Vito or Vado, maybe Vado I don't know Vito anyway there was on I think Angie Martinez show and mm-hmm. he said something like he waited to after his girlfriend had his child to see if he would marry her or something like that because he wanted yeah. to see how she would be as a mother before he decided to marry her which I thought was backwards like you That's know what so I mean bad. but I mean he he. He had his reasons, I guess, mm-hmm. and I guess you know he's seen like that. That's wrong because guys don't understand. 
I would never be somebody baby mother just to be a baby mother. Because guys really don't understand. When you have a kid, everything change about you. Your whole body's different. Mm. Your body will never go back to how it once was. Mm -hmm. You're in so much pain. People could die from it. People um can gain weight, lose their old shape. People can fall develop into depression. Yeah, fall into the, that's yeah. not just something that you just give to somebody yeah. or you just do. So I having it love. making somebody have a child to determine an answer is crazy. Yeah, I feel like you sense. real adults, we know when we want to take somebody serious. We know when we like we may we may not know like how deep it may be or if this person is meant for forever, but when you like somebody, you know. Yeah. I I think I mean I think both of them was I think that's both on both um dumb on both parts because as a woman, why didn't you you should have been like, yo, now nah, fuck that. I'll require some type of security. Like I want to be married first before yeah, I have your child. Yeah, she agreed to that. That's crazy. Him, should, like, you know what I mean? I just feel like either both sides should have been yeah. you know, I was assuming he told her that. that though. Like Did he tell test. her that? Because if she told her that, her that my wife. And she went with that, that's crazy. <laughs> she had to have known that. I don't prior, know why you would want to have a, a child though with someone that you're not sure yeah. that if they can possibly be your wife. That happens every day. That, right. yeah, that happens it's happening day. right about yeah. now. If you <laughs> wouldn't no, consider sure. marrying somebody, you shouldn't consider having a baby with somebody. Listen, that sounds great on paper. I, I mean, promise we, you. We but totally agree with you. We're just yeah. speaking on what's really going because on. Because that's how, like, like, broken homes, all that, like, okay, then the child. It de depends because like they're broken homes that things work because people have figured out like a great co-parenting situation. Right. But if like you're, let's say you and your baby father, like every single time y'all drop off, y'all arguing and stuff like that, like the child is soaking all of that in and they're eventually going to be a young adult, an Trauma. adult dating in the world. And those are people that don't know how to like um, deal with intimacy and vulnerability in relationships. And it, it just literally creates a toxic pattern in relationships i don't know if you guys been seeing the like the, the situation where they ask like a woman to you know set up their family in a line and women tend to always put their kids first or it's always like a story about how women or women don't even say my kids come first mm -hmm. even though they're with their husband you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. if a woman is voicing that she puts her kids first over her husband it's, it's still an issue in a sense we're not competing against each other i understand that that part but that man your husband should be there because your kids got both of you I that disagree. man has no. well, I, I think mean, i think that comes to you know when you talk about you know religion and the covenant of god like that obviously is god the man uh then the wife and then the children like you know what i mean so if you're looking at it from a biblical standpoint um you know <laughs> then obviously it is the husband that it is first and i think when people hear that it sounds like they kind of think of the worst possible scenario. So it's like people drowning. Are you going to save your husband or are you going to save your kids? And then yeah. that's what people be like, no, I'd rather save yeah. my kids. Like, you know yeah, what I mean? So it's, it. that's a to them, they, they think yeah. of the worst possible scenario to justify why they putting their kids first. But in a biblical sense, the husband is the first. Why you know, do you disagree though? I disagree because I feel like once you have a child, it's on priorities. So of course, if it was dealing with friends or family and X, Y, and Z, yes, you would say a significant other will come first, even when it comes to parents. Cause no, your mother comes like, first in that. No, in that when I say too, that, I mean like you got to think about it like this: when you get older, your mom is not living in the same household as her mom and dad, and they're not living in the same household as their grandparents. Right. When you have your child, you start. That's when your family tree starts. Everybody knows. Obviously, you're going to be there for your mom or your parent, X, Y, Z, when it really comes mm -hmm. down to it. Mm -hmm. But in a home, it's your home. So mm -hmm. at first, it's the parents. You worry about what y'all got going on in your own household. Of course, you check on your mom. You check on your dad. Of course, it's y'all. That instance, I would say the male and the, the female and the male comes first. However, priorities, everything stops for the child. Right. Half of y'all life is given up for the child. The child always comes the, ch the child has both of you. They have Exactly. They have, the child have, has both, but both parents is catering to the better good of the for, child. Yes. That brought the child okay, into but the world. What so I'm, the child comes first. So you're saying like what as I'm a understanding, unit. You, yeah, the child the has child both, both first, of you yeah. as a resource. Yeah, exactly. But individually as a woman. I just heard, I just heard first. you say that your parents until you move in and then your kids. It's not one time was that man mentioned. And when men are raised as ch from being children... 
we are told how we have to take care of a woman and our children. But, I just but said we that don't hear man. about how our woman... You ain't but saying I just, anything yes, I about did. taking care I of us. I said when you're in your own household, compared to your parents, your man will come first. Because it's the household you didn't say that, that you're in. Yes, I, but I did. I feel like did I not it say depends that? also she did say that, in yeah. the culture and like the mm-hmm. household. Yeah, like, but... I come from like my family's Dominican and like if people and I'm just seeing like Hispanic households and like how people grow up like a man gets served first. Mm. Like if in that aspect, like I could see that. But I think like earlier you mentioned like for kids, there's like an unconditional love. Mm. And you said right yeah. now there's no unconditional love in mm-hmm. these times. For for so, men. For men. Yeah. Right. So oh he didn't say for men though. That's when he it. said it he did not say for men. I didn't I didn't. So you said in these times, so I'm mm-hmm. thinking like just I, I mean, mutually, like I mean, people are not able to yeah. have uh-huh. um, unconditional love for one another. Yeah. I think when you're a woman and you have a child and you have that experience, because the experience of birthing a child is different because mm-hmm. the woman carries the child. And I can understand why like when women are lining up, they're like saying, my kids come first because it's a different connection. Like this is like your blood, yeah. your like it's they were inside of you. Right. So I can understand that and I would probably do the same thing. So why can't women understand when men have children that he got to put his kids first? Why do those women always make them that man? Like women that date men. Are you talking yeah. about like baby moms and like situations? No, I'm like saying that? like if I I have kids and, and then date. I and I'm starting to date you. Yeah. You not saying you personally but most women have issues with me men putting their children first. And that's their problem. I feel mm-hmm. like respectfully if you're not mature enough mm-hmm. To deal with another person while they have a child, you should not date men with kids because at the end of the day, I can say that I'm not the parent. I don't want to be a parent. So why would I set myself up and date somebody that has a child? That makes no sense. Yeah. That's People true. Do. And that's I feel not like, the reality. Not for nothing, I feel like when guys have kids, it's not really about, um, feel me, the child is about picking your perfect spouse or making sure that the person you have a child with is mentally there. Because when people have kids, they either keep the kid as a mental or coping mechanism, mechanism or whatever the hell, or the baby moms start going at it, and it's less about the child and more about them. If you get what I'm saying, their mm-hmm. place, their role, and then stuff with the child mm-hmm. start getting mixed up and stuff because the women is competing with each other. So it's less about the kid and more about them. But one could argue that. If your spouse is not happy, it's not good for the household. You know what I mean? Because y- I mentioned earlier that that what they see, they soak up. Yeah. So once they see that they the husband or the wife not getting treated well, that that might affect them neg- negatively in the household. Yeah, I think you know sometimes when we have these conversations, right? It's oh, it always sounds like we neglect the man's happiness in exchange for our children, right? So for example, we just said. You know, a woman will put her children first, mm-hmm. and while in a, in a marriage, right? So now you're you're kind of neglecting your husband's needs in that moment because you're sacrificing it for your child, and in that moment, he has to worry about your needs as the wife. You know what I mean? And he feels neglected because you don't you're treating him differently, or you're you're sharing that, or you're giving that attention, or whatever the nurturing that energy mm-hmm. to the kids, which is understandable. But at the same time, you are neglecting his needs at the same time. Like, you know what I'm but saying? It's, so. yeah, it's, but that's the point of having a baby. When you have a baby, y'all both give up and y'all both sacrifice. When a girl has a kid... The man is not allowed to... But when a girl has a kid, when a girl has a kid, that whole night months. that she's in that hospital, she don't get no sleep. She got to stay up. Doctors mm-hmm. poking them. She got to stay up um, doing... So um, does that man. Skin. Not necessarily, not all not the time. Really, That's not, not true because not all men is present in the hospital. Not all men stay not all the men full know, hours not that all men she know stays. Their, that's their kid. Not all men like. But, that's but, like but wait, but wait, but that's the side. That's but not. I'm, not I'm all staying, men are walking around with a kid that they don't know of. But regardless of the fact, when y'all have a kid, y'all sacrifice something. The mom sacrificed her first few months of her having that kid. She's not able to get off. She's not able to live the life that she wants. She gets postpartum and everything else. It's not something that she wants to do, but it's as a parent, that's your responsibility. No, You're the, not the, thinking the, about The sacrifice eyes. part is understandable, but men don't have that luxury to not have their woman be 
unsatisfied in a relationship because now when she's not feeling good, now we're oh why wasn't the the husband there to cater to her needs or whatever the case is? Why we we allow women yeah, to I have got these, her pregnant. Yeah, but we allow women to have these excuses not to cater to the man's <laughs> needs. But when it's a man, we got to cater to the woman's pregnancy needs. Is like, no, and I think children, pregnancy is why it's so important to have children right. with That's people you want to have children like... with because none of these things would actually be questions if you have a child with someone that you can see a future with that you actually love that you want to create a child with then these things wouldn't seem like hassles or like you're it going out of your way you, you don't, don't want kids. her to be uncomfortable like oh shit she just finished carrying this baby for nine months her feet swole like let me rub her body you. still it, it, it your wouldn't body's be not like healed. something like that why are you not taking care of yeah, me yeah but this I is why tired. it makes more that sense for the woman to pour the love into the husband so the husband no, can pour it's about the woman is more than the guy is you can't put that you can't say that when you when you talk about pregnancy you cannot say that I'm not not talking about pregnancy like let, you got let me finish before you you get reactive and start talking uh this is why i say the woman should pour into the husband because then the husband will pour True. into the woman and then both of them will pour into the kids but when you just pour right into okay. the kids and neglecting the husband then his needs are not being met he's unhappy and then that leads to um the wife being unhappy now because he's not unhappy now that spills into the kids like that's what right. i'm saying not that so equation much. makes more sense than you just pouring your love and everything into the kids and neglecting your husband or the husband just pouring his love into the kids and not being able to um, pour into his wife. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all pour into each other and then both of y'all pour into the kids make more sense. And the kids actually pick up on stuff like that. So the kids will start understanding that if mommy don't respect daddy, then I don't got to respect daddy. If daddy don't respect mommy, I don't got... So y'all got to show that love inside and outside of whatever's going I, on I actually well. seen in that, in that worst case scenario you were talking about earlier... Mm. Uh, a guy said that he would save his wife because he could make another kid. I seen it's, that too. He, he not gonna make another her. You know what I mean? So, what? But, I, I seen that too. Like, and believe it or not, those I mean, it makes a lot of people <laughs> like agreeing with <laughs> agreeing with his statement in that one. And it, and it sounds harsh to hear it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, your first initial was what? Like, you know, mm -hmm. it, it just sounds like damn. Like, you just gonna watch them drown or whatever the case is. But I mean, there's points to be made on both sides if you look at it from a Christian standpoint or a biblical standpoint. Um, let me get to this next topic. I feel like we could be on the yeah. phone all day. Yeah, like, right. listen, is having a celebrity crush in a relationship a red flag? <laughs> it depends on how deep it is. Like, there can be like you can think someone is fine, like you can admire someone's beauty, mm -hmm. but like if they're like they know all their moves, they know where they're gonna be at, like they're watching their page. That's weird. That's, that's stalker. Like, that yeah, is so stalker weird. at that point. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like if you know details about the celebrity, is kind of like red flag. Like, mm. I think Michael B. Jordan is fine. I have no idea anything else about him other than, like, he's fine. Would you pay $1,000 for him to, like, lift you up in the air and kiss no, you on the cheek so and all this other... That's the only thing I'm getting? Like, a lift up in the air and a kiss I mean, on the cheek? it's whatever you want. You <laughs> paying whatever you want. Like, yeah. yeah. no, what I you want, think, the dick? Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> no, like, a game with my... No. Um, I actually, I wouldn't pay mm. to, to experience any of that with a celebrity. No. Okay. With, like... You talking about while in a relationship, or you mean like if you wasn't in a just relationship? in general, in I would general, not spend okay. my money on any sort of experience like that. Mm. And then in a relationship, I would also not spend my money on that. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, what's your thoughts? You think is a red flag? I say no. It's the difference between being having a celebrity crush and being fanned out. Mm. Yeah. Like there was a situation that happened with some boy, and he took his girlfriend to go see some artist. Oh yeah. And the African artist. He started. She started mm -hmm. grinding on him. They was like oh, yeah. doing mad stuff behind the screen, and he ended up breaking up with her. I feel like if you will be around that artist, around your man, and you will be able to do certain things in front of him, then yeah, it's a problem. So so. So explain the difference between having a crush and then being just fanned out. Like what is so, the So for difference? instance, clearly she was fanned out. The girl at the at the concert. Who was fanned out? The girl at the oh, concert. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. So example, let's say. But that was her crush. Let's the say crush led to uh, the being fanned uh, out. Like, you know let's say he's my celebrity crush, right? Uh -huh. mm. It's a difference. I admire him. I love his content, everything. But he's in my face right now. I wouldn't be so just. Giving him just giving him all of me just because. So you want to, you want to risk your relationship to see if you have not a even just because somebody like as a celebrity, when you meet them in person, like what you see on TV is different from in person. So like even though I can like you, I only like what I know of you. I wouldn't allow myself to just submit to somebody just because 
I see them online. So if you have a crush on that said person, you meet them and they the coolest, they they exactly what you thought they was going to be. They going to be, I'm going to still respect myself. But being fanned out is like basically even when you go to events and you be seeing an artist and you be having the girls just blame you, like just disrespect themselves just because mm-hmm. they like somebody. Mm-hmm. That's being fanned out. You putting yourself, you lowering yourself to for somebody else's happiness and they don't even know you. Your existence, none of that. So can you have a... Cause I, it's hard for me to see the the, the difference between because the crush leads to being fanned out. Like, no, you know what but I'm it's a like, no. It's two different things. Just because I can say I have a crush on him, I won't be sitting in his lap. He could tell me to do something, I won't just do it. X, Y, and Z. I just have just liking somebody. I don't. Know. You know, fanned I'm not. Out, I'm not saying you're doing you in that. You taking the extra steps, like it's like I've steps. seen women risk and ruin their relationships. That's being fanned for, out. No, no, no. For men that they not even that's not even a crushes. Are you hear what I'm saying? There's some other mm. nigga that just happen to have more money or he look fly flyer or whatever the case that's is. Being I seen them. Out. Yeah, but that's not a fan. That's just some regular. That's you. I'm talking about regular people. Like you know what I'm saying? Your girl cheated on you with a regular nigga down the block. You could who be fanned had... out for somebody that's not necessarily a crush. Hmm. I I, I got. I don't know, man. What was your thoughts on this, man? Like, <laughs> uh, is it a red flag? I... It's crazy because before I seen this video, I seen a video where um shout out to dude Dennis, not me, he out here doing his thing, but um I seen this video and he was saying that it's a red flag for him because anytime this girl gets to be in the same room with this celebrity, anything could happen. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it made me think about the crushes I had on celebrities in the past, and if I was in the room with that celebrity, what would I do? You know what I mean? So I'm like. It might be a red flag. I ain't gonna lie to you because like, I don't know. I feel like like. But how do you control that? Yeah, you see somebody you like. You know what I mean, you don't think that's a tad bit immature. Though. That's what I'm saying. What? I feel like that's childish. To just like, say, you know what oh, I'm saying? Like, you have a celebrity crush. I don't want you. That's a. Tad I don't want you. Oh, you mean your girl? Yeah, in general, like whether it's a girl saying it to a guy or a guy saying it to a girl. What you mean? I don't want you. Meaning, like, like, let's like say, if it's a red flag. Like, if it's, it's like, a red like your crush. Oh, oh you said oh, your crush used to be Rihanna. Like you know what I'm saying? Like. Um, if you was it's currently Jada Kingdom, would you want somebody to dump you just because you have? So it's J- wait, time I'm talking about it's Jada Kingdom right now, right? Yeah. So yeah. let's say you was in a relationship and right. you was around Jada Kingdom and she talking that shit That's to you. That's what I'm saying, like, right? Flag. Are you are you going to <laughs> risk said, your relationship? Right. Right. <laughs> because if Jada right, Kingdom like, pull up and I'm in a relationship and Jada Kingdom is giving me the opportunity, so if they both was right in front of you and they say you gotta pick one, who you want to go to? That's the fan dog answer right there. I'm going to tell my I'm gonna tell my girl, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that to right yourself. There. That's Jada Kingdom right there. Oh, like, damn. Like, I don't mean, but red flag. Man. I'm going to also agree. It's a red flag. It's so much of a red flag, you would have thought I was blood in this bitch. Like, that's like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you nigga I, I, Lil Wayne. Like, I'm I, like, you know why it's such like a, a, disgust, too, a disgust for like to hear women being so fanned out? Because women have a huge problem with sharing the fact that they would spend their money on a man, right? They wouldn't. Niggas, it's a challenge out right now. Yo, send your girl a text, tell her, get your, get your hair cut. Oh, yeah, they yeah, like, like, nigga, $30? That's the fucking, I could get me some fucking soda or whatever yeah. the fuck, right? <laughs> but now, when it comes to fucking taking a picture with your ass bent, with a nigga owning you, you know what I'm saying? How am I? That's beastly. You, you, would, you, would, that's crazy. you would say that I'm insecure for feeling a way about it. But these are the said You're niggas that hear, we hear women say all the time how niggas ain't worth a dollar. Niggas ain't getting my money. Nigga better send that money. Cash up this, cash up that. But you willing to spend on a for a picture from a nigga that hey. you're never going to see again. That's, yo, so that's me, yo, so speaking, speaking of Duke Dennis, remember that shit I sent you? Was, and um, Because bitches be fanned out over that nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? She was like, oh, um, can you go on a date with me? I'll pay for the I'll date. Pay, like, you know right? what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, yo, and this nigga like, yo, what the fuck? Uh-huh. Like, yo, that's, that's, cr- that's, that's a crush. That's fan out. That's Who fanned out. paid a thousand and some change? A lot of them. A lot of them. I see you on TV. I see you right now. I ain't paying a thousand. I do think that the part with the dancing thing I think it's wrong because she she disrespect. But we don't be knowing when your girl is outside in the club with her homegirls. She, she probably that throw, free, she right? throwing it back on <laughs> some nigga. Yep, that's y'all not niggas is I, yo y'all y'all are bugging if y'all don't think women don't dance on niggas when you're not around, bro. That's you could be out here, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's right. And, it's not and don't let it be true. carnival, like you know what I'm saying. I'm like, serious, like. <laughs> Not for nothing. I've been out times with my friends and stuff, and like some of them did have boyfriends, and like sometimes they'll dance a little one too. 
Me personally, mm-hmm. or like my sister, or like some of my other friends, we'll dance on each other before we dance on the ground. Right? Okay, cool. I'm waiting for my turn. I actually just want to go out and I wait my turn. Willie bounce real quick. You know what I'm saying? I danced with Shorty one time and her nigga was calling and she ignored this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that's bad. But that separates you guys. That separates you guys. Like, that's just a bad I'm in the middle of this wine. Like, nigga, wait. But y'all have to separate, like, Girls that's about that life from girls that's not about that life. Right. Mm-hmm. Because it's, wild girls gonna do wild things, but that don't categorize for all females. Right. Yeah, for sure. Cause when you yeah, guys no, were sure, talking sure. about the girl that would pay for the thousand dollars experience, that's also the girl that don't wanna buy things for her man. Yeah, that's like not, a thirty dollar haircut. Mm-hmm. That's a certain type of girl. That's a certain type of woman. Who who y'all celebrity crush? Keep it huh. real. She said, oh, Michael B. Me? Oh, Michael that's B. That's okay, just the Michael first B. fine person okay. I thought of. I wouldn't oh, really okay. call him my crush. Oh, you so, got many crushes. So who is it then? I I I I always keep a crush on me, but that doesn't mean anything. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I just can admire beauty. Like, she a beautiful like man. Gum, like, yeah, like, 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 no, because with my friends, I'm like, I'm Tiffany, keep a crush first. on me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so who are you going with? But, like, I don't even know his whole name. Kofi, um... Oh, the chocolate man. He looks so fun. He's some. The he like actor. a. He's a, a then, model actor or something like. And that. then that guy that be on songs, he'd be like, he's chocolate, and he'd be like, I don't know what he'd be saying, but he's fine. He has like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do it. Like we, we don't know what you're like talking about. Poetry like, rap. Oh, and he's like, 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 I know what? some days we're gonna make it happen. Uh, I don't know what his Charles flow is. Gambino? I just know that no. I know Childish Gambino, Gambino, and he's not that Childish fun. Because this is the flow she just started saying. Oh. No, it's um, Brent Chocolate Man. He does like poetry rap kind of thing. He was just in a video with someone. I told say, you guys, I don't you need know him. the... You are very nondescript. She said he was just in a video with someone. Like, <laughs> I don't know, don't know like, his name, but that is my crush. You don't know none of his songs? No, because he just looked good. I'm telling you, like, it doesn't have to be that serious. You Mm. could just admire someone's, like, beauty Mm. now when you're like, oh, my God, where are they going to be? Like, you try to do things to align with them. That's Fanned out yeah. obsession, like, I, like I gotta that. go back in your catalog, see who your man crush uh, Mondays was. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, shit. Yeah. My, my celebrity crush is Chris Brown. I knew Chris it. Brown? I oh, knew so you it. definitely paying that thousand dollars? No, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. 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 I, don't, I don't care. Yeah. I don't been around that man. Have like, you seen the meet and greet pictures though? He is giving them girls what they're paying for. That's a fact. I mean, that's sure, a, I do that too for a thousand. Uh, I might slick a deck in it. What? what? For a thousand only? <laughs> Kim, Kim, it's, it's been a while. Can we get the disclaimer real quick? The views of Jews don't depict the views of dinner. Yo, a thousand dollars? I got fifteen hundred women on a date. Yeah, what are you talking a about? One, a, a personal day, a personal day. That's what I'm saying. Not right. for a picture. Hey, listen. Wait, he take he take you on a date for a thousand dollars? If you're I'm paying somebody a thousand dollars just yeah. to give to them, I need a I need a day, a personal day, spend a day with oh, me, something. Day. That's crazy. You, you, you guys know my name, Bobby. You guys don't make y'all feel a type of way. Money. You know what? Well, what? Well, if if, you if, if your girl, you because know, I think we gonna get there to the point where we gonna be in a room with these niggas. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We are climbing a successful ladder. We gonna get there, right? Mm-hmm. And now imagine us walking in a room knowing our shorty. That Paid would be that thousand dollars. We, we chill with Breezy, and the next thing you know, my show, you walk. I'm like, what the? F- you said you was at home. He's like, oh, yeah, I remember her. What's up? What's up? Uh-huh. You know like, what I'm saying? He pull out the like, picture on his phone. Like, ain't this you? <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll be playing, these hoes ain't loyal in the background. And shit. I'm like, Damn, Dancing. Man. Like, like, shaking nah. his head, talking about no name. There was name. a situation like that with Kai Sonet and them. Yeah. And basically, one of their shorties, they end up finding out that um, Kai, she was in Kai's inbox. I'm like mm-hmm. mad long ago. So now that he's friends with Kai and shit, she just started coming around. That's a little embarrassing. She was mm-hmm. fine. And like she was in his inbox, like, yo, you know, like when you text a celebrity before you famous and stuff like that, mm-hmm. you'd be like, notice me, notice me, mm-hmm. notice me. Like little stuff like that. I would have oh, sent that shit. Out. Out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I gotta let my unsent. bros know. Like, yeah, that's all, <laughs> un- all them shits get unsent for you talking right. about like. Listen, let me get to this next topic. Yo, <laughs> hit that like button, subscribe if y'all not already subscribed. Comment your favorite part down below. If y'all agree, disagree, let us know because I I'll I be reading. I admit I do be reading the comments. So you know what I'm saying? So I'll be in it. <laughs> so um let me get to this next topic, right? Are the relationships around you encouraging you to be in a relationship or not? What's your thoughts? No. That's tough. Probably not. People don't even be in relationships. They be in long ass entanglements. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Nobody dates to date. I be feeling mad happy when I see like the old people outside 
and like they be holding hands or like I be seeing them doing like young people stuff. Where are you that from? That makes me. I'm from Brooklyn. You? you from Brooklyn? Yeah. That's crazy. That bro. makes me like believe in love or whatever. But the relationship nowadays with today people, I don't know. Mm. It be ghetto love stories, mm-hmm. <laughs> trauma, mm. depression, and just mad other stuff. So that, that that alone is making you be like, you know, I'm good on relationships. Today's right relationships is disrespectful. It's okay. Being toxic to each other, making each other cry is a turn on. It gives icks. Females like to talk to other people and all this other stuff. You, you ever realized how nobody wants you when you're single and then the minute you get in a relationship, people just start coming or the minute they see the person mm-hmm. you're dating, it's just mad extra stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah, today's relationships, you can't be in a relationship. So that's that's making you be like, you know what? I'm good on relationships right now. Yeah, and then when you try and you go on little dates and stuff, now today the girls act like guys. They be young men and the guys <laughs> act like girls. They be sassy and everything. <laughs> you can't even have men. a date. People would be delusional. Common sense don't make common, common sense, sense no more. Common, Morals bro. is out the window. It got mm-hmm. replaced with my my business or get that money, sis. Nobody. She nobody said they be that. young men. <laughs> I'm funny. serious. I've been hanging around girls and. <laughs> They be on a block, they be rolling up, and when I say they roll it up, they smoke all day. They voice be mad deep, and it be the pretty girls. Mm-hmm. Pretty Black girls. They start talking about gang them. banging, mm-hmm. all the other stuff. Then you get around guys, they want flowers. They want their tummy bro. Yeah, I don't believe that. Y'all gonna stop with this flowers shit, bro. Be sassy. Put a one in the chat if you were a guy. You were literally flowers. yesterday. Oh. Literally yesterday, my sister was talking to somebody or whatever because. He was just asking for too much, but not having nothing. So she made a statement like, the men that likes me, I never have to reach into my wallet. And then he said, me too. Nowadays, guys want tricks too. Guys wait, wait. That's not one flowers though. He just saying like women appreciate his time, so they be spending no, money. No, she like, was mean? saying, guys usually, when men want you and they like you and they want to be with you, mm. She don't have to reach into her pocket. She's not the one supplying drugs, alcohol, food, dates, everything else. And he's, guys and just he's, be and home. And he's reciprocating you that energy and saying, no. listen, when I go out, but the guys, women pay but if you Guys sister- be at home feeding you blunts, can't cook, can't do nothing, can't, can't, can't clean, can't do nothing. <laughs> guys be wanting to be the so, female. So Let me be it, a passenger princess. So why is it okay for her... To expect, you know what I mean, to do nothing, just be courted. If he's used to the same thing. I'll tell thing. you a perfect reason. Mm-hmm. My sister got her own place, mm-hmm. graduated early, Okay. top of her job. Okay. Everything she pays for is for herself. And when she's with her man, mm-hmm. he gets treated the same way he treat on her. So as a guy, why go to a high maintenance female or a female you know with a certain type of lifestyle and you can't provide for it? So, and so- not even saying that you're not working, you're not trying. Mm-hmm. You just a bum. And expecting stuff. Oh, he's, but would, oh, but he's would a you, bump. But would you just yeah. what you just explained was that she reciprocates the energy that she gets from him. Mm. So how she why is she then fixing her lips to say I don't never have to reach into my pocket if she does reach into her pocket because with the as right a person, guy like, when you feel as a, as a woman when you have stuff yes she reciprocates it but that's only because it's being reciprocated back when you get around a man and he can't clean he don't got money to take care of himself. He wow. don't offer nothing mentally. Why is she talking that? to that type of man? No, man. it's someone who's, that was trying to talk to her. He should have been blocked. Her there should have been no conversation. You know, like when females say, no like, job. yes, I work and stuff, but if I wanted to have it on my own, I could use my woman powers and get it on my own. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? <laughs> Meaning, like, it's like when girls do it now, when they be tricking. Like, a girl could just smile or make you feel like you're the best thing in the world and X, Y, and Z, and a guy would just give you money. Whether they ain't they tricking. Know. She, she's selling. Tricking, though. No. Tricking is when... Oh, you mean you tricking are... them literally? Tri- like, like, no, literally, no, literally no tricking. tricking. Okay. Spending money. Oh, and spending other... money. Oh. Being a player, you not a player and you don't get tricked on if you can't tell the truth and still get what you want. A lot of girls, guys knows that they be in everybody else's faces. Guys know that they be hoes and everything else. However, women got the vagina card. Guys be dumb. You could tell a guy like straight to his face. There's a lot of man bashing going on in this motherfucking No, I'm, no yeah. like on a serious <laughs> note, like it happens now. Like even with rappers, they be getting caught up with the same it's the same media hoes. The one that be trapping guys and X, Y, Z. They'll go around and go right to her. No, for sure. After if they heard she about did, that pussy, that pussy fire. Yeah, you exactly. Get, and exactly what I'm saying. 
girls can use their woman power, but is this necessary? Speaking of a guy not having nothing, and he expects just to just show up. Woman, woman power sound a lot like uh, pussy power. It sound like pos- prostitution. prostitution. Yeah, yeah. Sound, but I that's the know. lie. Like that's a stereo. That that's something y'all guys know. See, so uh, the- so so what is that? What is that woman providing that man outside of sex? Because you ain't saying nothing. You just saying she just get, but she know, got the pussy. She got the pussy. There's you two saying. different you types saying, of females. You saying that one she's females, using her? One, she got the pussy two, card. Like some females, they go outside with zero dollars and zero cents. Some, yeah, for sure. And like, they have the best time of their life. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of. Based deal. off their V card or based off a chance. And that throw. It's the chance. And it's not even like feel me. A, a girl could dead tell you she don't like you, and a guy was still just persistently like yeah, for a but, chance. Yeah, but y'all y'all say that right? I hear women say, "Oh, I don't like him. I don't fuck with that nigga. They be sucking that nigga dick." So I mean, That's what's crazy. the difference? What's like what's the Jose difference? ain't hoes for free. You know, I, Jose so, ain't so, hoes for no reason. Yeah, like, so she's I mean, doing some that. She's of them is some of those to, like, to a nigga to a reason. nigga that's getting that money from somebody else. He could be robbing a nigga. He could be. Jugs in, you can be selling, swiping, whatever. Uh, huh, you can have, huh, have that. Now put this dick in my own. You, your morals and everything else is lost because you just sucked this dick. You didn't like that nigga. See, yeah, I, I get I get where you're coming I'm from. And, and now. I get where you're coming from. And I and I and I wanna I, we're gonna get to another topic about that. Um but mm-hmm. I wanna get the Keem over here, like oh, we got so far off this shit. <laughs> like <laughs> are rela- are the relationships around you encouraging oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah. discouraging you from being in relationships? Well, the reason that I specifically came up with this question, I, I wonder, it's interesting. I wonder why. I like was that. because they not inspired me to get no relationships, man. I got a, I got a couple of bros, you know what I mean? Mm, that I talk to, that I talk to frequently, you know what I mean? And you know what I mean? They share their their, their troubles with me, you know what I mean? Mm, mm, mm. And it ain't looking good, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like when I'm comparing my life to what they telling me, it's like, man, it's just way more peaceful over there. So like, I, can, can you give us some like? I don't want not, like not too <laughs> much of an alley, but like something right. like let me let me see let me see all right I can't, nah it's too it's, it's too specific man oh, okay. but but let's just all right let's just say all right um and this is a close friend you would say right I, I'm not gonna get into specifics <laughs> I mean but let's just say uh they they got into a disagreement with their significant other right mm-hmm. uh they they had an agreed upon time they were supposed to. Um, go to dinner, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, the significant other said that they were there. Yeah, now nah, I didn't want to go. Into, walking, <laughs> I didn't want to go. Walking on eggshells like a I, motherfucker. Like, like, like that, I, I, I didn't. I don't even want to get into it. I can't even put it, this shit together, my nigga. I'm really <laughs> lost. No, I, I, I can't even get into it. It's too specific. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, but yeah, but but I'm gonna just say it's not inspiring me to get into a relationship right now. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Well, Jews already, you know, he already got his situation. For me. I can still answer the motherfucking question, motherfucker. <laughs> every time we had these questions, nigga, but I'm in a relationship, motherfucker. Like, you know All right, like, so um, I, I do think um, <laughs> it's fearful, but I hope that people could get motivated from seeing other relationships. You get what I'm saying? Just like you said earlier, you know, it's hard to see it because everybody motherfucking arguing, everybody fucking competing on what somebody else have. But I just truly hope that we can inspire somebody to want to date someone. We might be arguing and disagreeing on his show, but hopefully somebody can find somebody. They you just with. need that one person. Yeah. I think for myself, um, <laughs> I'm a very optimistic person when it comes to like relationship and, and dating and stuff like that. So I still, I still believe in the ultimate goal. It's just that sometimes I'm also like um, Ace. I have friends that relay, you know, the the tri- their trials and <laughs> tribulations, and and, nah. and it, it, you know, it just don't sound um, like something I would want to put myself in. At this yeah, like, sign you know, up for that, so. man. When... But then I speak to people like my mom, who's been married for twenty plus years, and I see those are old relationships. A, yeah, man. but then that give that gives me hope. Like you heard what I'm saying. I'm like, you know what? I I could get to where they no, are. I just got like she find said, them, them, them relationships don't like exist no more. Man. Being compatible, like not for nothing. I feel like loyalty, commitment, all that stuff. Yes, that plays a big part, but that's also a side factor. I feel like if y'all are not in the same mental phase or not compatible, mm-hmm. no matter if y'all act like the perfect family is never going to work. You can have the car, the house, the everything, mm-hmm. but for some reason, she's just not attracted to you or she just can't like, you get what I'm saying? There's people that do open <laughs> relationships, but they're a solid ass couple. There's people that do three-way relationships and they're a solid ass couple. It's about actually 
being um, compatible with somebody and not a is lot Is it of compatible people, or is it compatible to what everybody in society Compatible say? to you and the person, you. between Fuck you and saying. that person, not anybody else. Mm-hmm. If me and you want to be together and we're not mentally compatible, no matter how much we try to work, it's just not going to work because That's we're not fun. compatible for each other. That's and it's fun. not the same type of mindsets because opposites do a check. It's about the balance. In it, and a lot of people don't spend enough time with each other to actually learn those qualities. Do you think you hear balance me. now between <clears throat> men and women? No, what, there's what, not no balance. What are requir- well, What are the requirements from a man? And then tell me some of the requirements from a woman. To be honest, I can't really say That's requirements. It depends question. on you and the person. No, because most men just want simply <laughs> we want somebody to, that's gonna be there for us, cook for us. Fuck us. I feel and like both be that's not, both no. genders want the same thing. It's just a lot of people have a problem with how to go about it. Like even if when people say 50, 50, 50 they think that's the guy going to work and the girl's just doing the housework. No, I feel like 50, 50 is whatever one lacks is what the other one picks up or help each other out and stuff like that. True. So qualities for a guy and everything, I feel like everybody wants traditional people. It's just nobody want to do the traditional work. Mm. Yeah, That's and what you- might work for me is not what's might work for you. Like qualities that people look for is gonna change depending on the person. Like the type of woman that you're with might not be like the type of woman that he might go for. So qualities change, but because of social media and like people voicing out their opinions and stuff like that, everyone is looking for like a cookie cutter relationship where it's like everyone <laughs> thinks they're looking for the same thing, and then you got the woman, let's say. Or the guy who's buying you stuff. I'm gonna switch it so it's not like men bashing. Mm-hmm. But let's say she like already did, she already did enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good when women do it, but the moment a man do it, then we hit our mothers. But and like, let's say like you get the guy that's like flying you out, buying you the bags. You don't gotta pay anything. Picking you up, you're a passenger princess. But maybe that guy is not like Funny. intimate or vulnerable. Or is like not making you laugh. Mm. But the internet told me I should like that guy because he's flying but me I out. But I feel like a lot of stuff be fake. People, yeah. even when it comes like even out of relationships, I feel like everybody be going through the same stuff in their life. Even though it may not be the direct same thing, but I feel like everybody goes through the same thing in life. Like, not the same situation, but challenges mm-hmm. and everything else. Can I ask, I know you're about to switch subject. I just want to ask one thing real quick. If... There's a boss chick, right? If she doesn't, she wants traditional values, but she says, oh, I'm a boss chick. I don't have to cook. I don't have to clean. I bring other things. But still say that, oh, you're a man. You need to pay the bills and do what man a man does. That's right. What, what does that woman do? Because I that's a, that's what I hear from the boss babes or she the boss chicks. She needs to find somebody that's, that's compatible. Okay with not, that. not find some, what, what do, it's a lot of those. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know boss chicks or yeah. But you're saying you still that gotta find like, somebody compatible be... for you. So like, if you can't just go to somebody else and be like, oh, I want this, that, and the third, and then expect that person to just give it up, right? To you, you and you, you don't wanted. feel like you gotta change because in relationship y'all both change, y'all both sacrifice, y'all both gain. So if one don't want to change, that's when it's time for them to find somebody that can fit their be A lot of single women. Yeah, I, I think, you know, you, you brought up a word, com- compatible. Perhaps. And I don't think people, enough people know what compatibility looks like. And I don't think enough people understand themselves, who they truly are, to really know what they are compatible with. Like, I think right. sometimes we put on this facade, or we're trying to be this Jada Wade aesthetic, or we're trying to be this I LeBron James that. aesthetic, or whatever the guys, I don't know who guys idolize, or whatever the case is, but we, we keep trying to put on this aesthetic, and we don't know who we truly are until we get maybe a little bit older, and we have gone through certain things to realize, like, I'm at, at my age, I'm learning, like, things about myself that I didn't understand when I was younger, like, you know what I mean? So I couldn't have found a compatible person because, like, I really didn't understand myself, and I don't think people truly understand themselves to be able to really even know what compatibility even looks like, you know, like based off of what is all fictional stuff. It's all like a checklist of things. Like, and then right. people change. Like, you know what I'm saying? You said a woman change. Like, I don't think enough men get taught about a woman's body and the, the type of emotions that she go through to understand how to deal with that. Like, you know what I mean? But like, that's when I say, I feel like it's a media thing. We put in a world where people can go through stuff or like have an idea of something, but because it may sound wrong or look wrong, people will act like, I don't know. I never experienced that. Well, that's weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And X, Y, nobody likes to tell the truth for an image. That's why I say nowadays, 
people date each other and only want to be around each other for an image, just like friend groups. Girls only want to be around pretty girls. Girls only want to be around people that when they go out, it's something beneficial towards them. Nobody actually gets time to actually know people. There's mm. flaws in everybody. You can know somebody for 50 years and you still don't know all there is to know about them or True. yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people need to step back and get off the meta world and actually connect. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like mm -hmm. people meeting people one-on-one -on -one, because meeting people one-on-one, -on -one, they act differently than when you're in an outside setting mm -hmm. or a group or in a oh, space. Or social media or sure, via yeah. text or whatever. It's a lot of pressures is, right? with bodies, relationships, mm -hmm. everything. Yo, Wolf, how much time we got? Listen, let me get to this. Um, Let me get to this next topic. Um. You know, are women more, would you say most women are more impressed by men with money or men with clout? <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a giggle. Money or clout? Probably money. Money. Hmm. Like we're saying like most people. Like either or? Like either right? or money. Probably money. Because hmm. to know if someone has clout, you got to like be following that. And like not, maybe not all women like know who has clout. Or doesn't, you know, but the, you the can, women know who got clout. Like, you know but saying? clout is a different. certain type of woman knows who got mm -hmm. clout. Like a certain type of woman is paying attention to like that type of stuff. But like some people are not consumed by like who's popping right now and who's like not. But money, you can tell who has money. And like that might be sometimes, not all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, but that might be more appealing to like most women. Than like clout. actually, no, you can't really tell who got money because uh, you mentioned childish Gambino earlier, and this is a guy who you know aesthetically he doesn't fit that traditional stereotypical um black male mold that a lot of women like to put black men into. So, and when even when you look at him, he don't he don't wear the flashiest stuff. Like you see him on the street, you probably won't even be like, oh, that's childish Gambino, no, but this yeah. guy's big I'm account is crazy. Like, like you know what I'm saying? So yeah, like J. J. Cole, J. Cole yeah. like you know what I mean? There's a lot of people who don't. Dress with all designer dripped out, know like you who know what I mean. People are so those are not like, uh, like example wise. Like I know childish Ga Donald Glover. Yeah, but has I'm saying money. you. Like, I'm I saying don't be you, knowing some of like, these celebrities. Some, some women, like, like, a lot of women, it's, it's regular yeah, like, people like them walking. Oh, like walking around, yeah, around yeah. for sure. But there's like small things. I said sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't say like you're gonna be able to be like him. Yeah, yeah. but there's certain things like. If you know brands or, or like things like that, like you see a shirt that might not be like the tradition, like it's not Dior, it's not Gucci, it's not this, but like you know that brand, it's like, oh, he that's a luxury kind of shirt. You might like people might are familiar with jewelry. Like you see a guy with a nice watch, that can tell you a lot. You look at a guy's shoes, that can tell you a lot. So it's like there's I like, agree I to even, disagree. I, I don't even think I don't I agree to disagree and I say that only because I do agree about people, the girls caring about money more than clout because I witnessed how there pe be people that you be thinking is successful and their lifestyle, their li whole life don't be together. They be struggling mm. and they be broke. So mm. how can you be in a spotlight and be broke? That's more embarrassing. <laughs> but I do yeah. disagree because honestly speaking, it based on mindsets. Like, let's be real. I was taught I know when somebody got money when they don't look like they got money. Right. When you walk through the street and you see the people in the city, they be wearing um vans. They don't be wearing designer. Even celebrities would tell you half of the okay. time they don't go outside with designer or real jewelry. No, that's what I'm saying. Like you can it. spot, but there's like luxury things. But you can't that tell because a lot of the like... broke people look rich. So you can't say yeah, that. Sure but because they're that. putting on name brands, you and think so they're like rich, but they're saying, not rich. Where it's like. The people that are flashing it in your face, it's different than the people that are not. So I'm saying like being able to spot subtle wealth is different than like, oh, I'm looking at a Gucci, I'm looking at it, and that's money. But then that's like, selective spotting because if you're just looking, but a girl who and is somebody more, got on more Dior interested stuff, in money you would think should that be able rich. to spot luxury. Like if a girl, because the question was like, would women right? Oh, more impressed by more impressed by, more money impressed or clout. by clout or money? I think money will impress more. It will go further than like a guy with clout. And so a girl who knows to spot once you a, realize a, a girl, yeah. like, but I feel like, like girls who know about money should would know that not just because somebody is dressed in designer that don't mean they have money. I a agree lot of with people. You. I'm not talking about designer, said, but I'm saying to spot somebody if you're looking at somebody is not selective looking because they flash right, it. So let me let me ask y'all a question. All right. If it's a group of women, mm -hmm. and let's say it's like somebody that's Instagram famous pulling up like. 
Who's Instagram famous right now? Like, um, what's Kasanat? Like, like Kasanat, right? Okay. But he got money too, though. Like, he do got money. Um, though. somebody like Haha Davis. Haha Davis, sure. right? Haha Davis pull up to the club, but then you see a uh, a guy in at the bar like buying. Like, yeah, let me get every single bottle right here. Like, which one do you think that the woman will more flock to? Haha Davis, because they know him, or the guy that. That got the section in. A lot of girls will see Ha Ha Davis and be like, "That's the section I want to be at." And then there's like thirty girls in the one section with like three that's, bottles. That's and, yeah, but that's, and clout, but that's in that case, clout. that's clout. no. Yeah, oh, but there are women that are gonna go for that. This, I'll give you an example. Right there was a um, I seen a video where the, a guy he created this app where you could, it looks like you're live and it shows like the yeah, viewer yeah, count I've seen that shit. and oh, like yeah, you yeah, could yeah. you could manipulate the viewer count. So he's like with he's at a party with women. He got his phone out, and then the women come. They see the viewer account because he manipulated it and said like fifty k, yeah. whatever, and they start treating him differently because kissing him, making yeah, out with him, yeah, doing because all they types. Think of, he got money, yo. But before, yeah, but they seen the clout. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they seen and they associated that with money. Like you get what I'm saying? Or yeah. they feel like they could benefit me being on his live. People might look up me, and then I could be benefit. I could benefit from that clout. Like you know what I'm saying? And I'll give you another example. Just about clout, you know, Ha Ha Davis. I brought him up for a specific reason. This guy mm-hmm. had millions of followers, and he was, and he was, he was saying, broke. and he was saying that he was living in his mama's mm-hmm. basement. Mm-hmm. But I guarantee you, he was getting a lot of women with that mm-hmm. clout. Like they, you know, when you talking to somebody and he just pull out his Instagram, they see a million or seven hundred k followers. Women are all automatically going to associate with. He about to blow. That's something that could benefit me. Like <laughs> yeah. women look at a lot of things from like, how can that benefit me? And they see somebody with a large sus- uh, subscriber account, follow account, and maybe they not see him spending money, but they feel like they can still benefit off the clout personally because people see me with Haha Davis. They're gonna look me up. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get brand. I'm gonna be sponsored by Fashion yeah. Over and get mm-hmm. all these other things. Like you know what right. I mean? So so it could be like reward the question right. to like. What would a female go to? Not what would she prefer? Because I feel like a female will always prefer money over right. likes and followers. But if you say mm, like, what would I, they go tough. to? But, would, I, but if tough. you speaking in reference mm. of if y'all just outside, which would catch their eye faster? Yeah, that's you, you, how I was thinking. Because they would still be with the people you, for clout. You know why I think that women are attracted money. to clout only because they feel like being with that man with clout can give them the opportunity to jump onto another nigga. With wow. money and success. Or so if I, if she's chilling with Ha Ha Davis, he might be in the room with Lil Wayne one day. She might hop on Lil Wayne. She might do an OnlyFans. And nigga, nigga, seem like she sound like a hobo. Like she's yeah. going for right? no, but, nigga, but, but bro, nigga, nigga, like, yo, you, you said next stop. Wait, 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 I think I that's because next I stop, Chris Brown. Like, yeah. wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I think that's because. <laughs> People get around celebrities and they, like females, I be feeling like sometimes they be dumb too. You said because, they be jumping from dick to dick? Yeah, they be dumb too. The I'm not going to lie because they look at guys and they think of, all right, so let's say it's Offset. They look at him, right? They go around him. They think that his bank account about to be their bank account. Mm. His house about to be their house. So they thinking that they're about to just win. But then when you get around these artists, mm. there's so many girls saying the same thing that you said, been in their face. You start to see they don't they're not really caring about you. They came for the opportunity. They that's, came that's, for that's the, the they came they want the more same followers. way you came for the opportunity, they, they let you in for a reason. So when girls Tra- get okay. around that and they see that they're not getting what they got, because you could be have money all you want, but if you're not giving it giving it, that don't mean nothing. Right. A girl would get so uninterested mm-hmm. and all of that other stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's why certain times when they get up. Or whatever, they might just lead to the next person who is going to give it to them. Mm-hmm. You, That's not good though. But like, um, what's your thoughts real quick before we get out of here? Like, what do you think? What you, you say? You said clout. Women are more impressed by clout than money. Um, overall, they want the money, but I see that that clout can be a currency nowadays. I mm-hmm. feel like people can take clout as money value, as in you can get in the place that will translate to better opportunities. Mm. I, we could sit in a room and we could have money, but you know what I mean? They might want to go that way and we might have the opportunity how to make money, but they don't got to work if they chilling with the person with more clout. Yeah. You just got to sit there and get your get your followers up. And now people are more interested in what you're doing in life. So clout is a form of currency. It it's might be credit. a little bit slow, but it, it, it about to be some, it's some value in it. You know what mm. I'm saying? I, I see why, but that's why I do think that women jump from, or some women jump from one to one. I I I would just want to ask y'all, like, do you think men can men would men be faced with that same question? Would we would it be as hard for us to be like, yo, clout or money? We I, I don't think we would want either. Oh, yeah, that's no, what I, 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 I say clout. No, 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 I say clout because guys be guys be. 
bigger groupies than females. For real. Every industry <laughs> event I went to, backstage and all, when they tell people to get off the stage or when a rapper or an artist come out, the guys will be thinking they security. It'd be guys. It'd be well, guys you, what like clout. What do you guys mean like, like, meaning, so if Ice Spice was here- No, like, if no, a guy, a guy artist, forget a girl artist. If oh, a guy right. artist right now, let's say Offset right here, you both, you oh, can't his be the females around. Mm -hmm. All you see is mad dudes. And it's always a point of when we go out to industry events or when I go out oh, to so industry events. Oh, so you're saying the dudes are pushing the women out. They be having to tell the guys. The guys want clout. Guys like to be known when they when you're around other artists, especially the guy rappers, because they be more fanned out about the guy rappers than the female rappers. It makes you look important. And then the guys, what they do with that is they take their little picture or they talk to them, they holler at them, and then they go to the females like, oh, I'll be with so-and-so, X, mm -hmm. Y, and Z. I guys agree. like mm -hmm. clout. Clout is currency. It's it's credit. Guys, you can get. I, I you can't can not have I can't no disagree money. With that. Yeah, because you got a million that, followers, they gonna send you wigs. They gonna send you clothes just because you have followers. <laughs> People gonna wanna work with you. You go in a room right now. You could be. You could be. Um, you could be a whole princess. A whole princess, but you don't have IG. Versus somebody that said a whole princess. Yes, no, no. You could be a whole princess, a president, or whatever. But because you don't have IG versus a regular, regular person sitting down with a million followers, they'll look at the person with a million followers and treat them a certain way before they treat you that type of way, just and, because they don't know. And they know she a princess. Oh, they no. don't know. They don't know she. But a because followers, a lot of rich people. Well, mm. for me, what I know, a lot of rich people, they don't have media. They don't care for media. And stuff like that. I mean, once you're rich, you're so like <laughs> because of followers, you can get a lot farther. Just like you gotta pay. A lot of artists and big artists, they paid for bots so they can get their brand yeah. new, so people can start actually taking them serious. Mm. For sure. Because some yeah. people won't even give you an opportunity till you have those numbers of followers. You can't. You or cannot like, get no brand deal sponsorships. You can't even make money until, until you, got you like get ten thousand followers. A hundred thousand, um, a hundred and a hundred and seven thousand yeah. views, mm -hmm. a certain amount of comments. You can't even go live unless you have five thousand friends mm -hmm. on TikTok. For sure, you gotta pay for this stuff. And now the media is where you gotta pay to get views. They'll block viewers from watching you unless you pay for it. You They'll block, shit. yeah, they block you from being successful, whether it's organic or not. They'll just block people from having. That's why we need y'all to hit that motherfucking like, like button. <laughs> and and if you are liked. Crazy. You'll blow up for two, three days, and then once they peep that, you'll just get shadow banned, and none of your videos is getting views. None of that. That's a fact. Yeah, that, <laughs> we all, so you I always can't say this, even, man. We all uh, people be lit, but you can't even organically just be lit. We all we are slaves to the algorithm, man. Yeah. Like the algorithm can either make or break you, man, and that's unfortunate, man. But again, uh, we appreciate y'all for being on the show. Let them know where they can follow you Thank at. You. Sammy underscore Mulan underscore, and Golden Tiff double N. Mm hmm. Again. If y'all enjoyed the episode, if y'all agree, disagree, put it in the comments, like um, the video, uh, subscribe. If y'all not already subscribed, I need y'all to hit the, the notification bell as well mm -hmm. because we need y'all to be alert to all of the You heard it my shadow banning, you know what I mean? Shadow banning is a thing. Like, you know what I mean? It's Drop like, a comment, it's free. What's the shit in Yu-Gi-Oh? The Shadow Realm and shit like that? that shit. Oh, you know <laughs> like, you, you be in there. Like, yo, cop the merch, man. Daily Rapper Crew. Tag us when y'all cop it so we can always you know, logical feelings. Yeah. And make sure y'all listen to the podcast audio Tuesday mornings at 6 a.m., man. Appreciate y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm.